Hi babies, so today I'm bringing you guys a self-care Sunday reset routine where I am going to be basically taking care of myself, pampering myself, and just taking care of me all down to skincare, body care, and so much more. This is a little different from our regular day-to-day -day vlogging, but I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's just get started. So this Sunday, I did wake up a little bit later just because to me, Sundays, I like to do things with no rush. I take it kind of like a rest day and the first thing that I do every morning is go ahead and check my emails, respond to any businesses, the collaborations that I need to respond to and just look through my socials. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my sheets out of my bed because it's time for them to be washed. Also, I did change my whole mattress, so that's why you guys are going to notice that it's two different mattresses, but I didn't insert that part in this video because that's a part of a whole nother video. And this blue thing that you guys see is a foam mattress that I got from Walmart just to make my bed more comfortable, but like I said, I no longer needed that. just taking fluffy on his daily walk even though i'm not the one that always walking but it was my turn so we're just gonna go ahead and take them to this little aka park because it's really just grass with fence around it <laughs> after getting back from the dog park it was wash day so that's what i went ahead and did so i'm gonna be showing you guys my shower routine along with my hair wash day routine so it was that time of the month to go ahead and change my hygiene stuff so i did get a pack of new loofahs along with a new pack of a dove bar soap which is what i use to wash my face so let's get into washing my hair i do use the head and shoulder shampoo i just started using it just because i'm trying to find something that treats my dandruff i don't know if it's maybe because of a product that i started using but my scalp into my actual shower routine so the body wash that i recently started using is the natrium body wash and the one that i use is the sa1 the perfector and i love it so far and of course we can't forget about the dr browners if you guys have been watching me you guys know that i swear by this up and down if you 
have not tried it go run to target and get you one because this right here will leave you feeling like mr clean i'm telling you After washing my body, I'm going to go ahead and wash my face with the original Dove Bar Soap. I just go ahead and wash my face, my neck, and the back of my ears with this. I've been using this for a long time now. It literally works wonders for my skin. Works better than any other face wash that I've ever tried. I also use the Dr. Bronner Soap for my feminine wash. And again, it just, it just works. It works. For me, personally, of course, I'm not really sensitive. But they also have a sensitive kind if you are sensitive and you want to go ahead and try it. But I am going to go ahead and exfoliate my body with Dr. Teal's Rose Essential Oil Shea Sugar Scrub. And I'm just going to exfoliate my whole body. And I also went ahead and shaved my underarms. I don't use a shave cream just because the shavers that I use do come with olive on it. But I think I'm going to invest in a shave cream for my legs and my armpits because other than that, I wax. I'm going to go ahead and wash off the mask out of my hair. Now I'm going to go in with this exfoliating back scrubber and my Pond Oxo body wash to wash my back because obviously since I just rinsed out the mask, I have all of the axes of the product in my back. This is my first time using this and honestly, I don't think I like it as much as I thought I was going to like it. I prefer the brush just because I feel like this absorbs all the product instead of putting it in your back. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and brush my teeth but before I do that I did get some new toothbrushes so I threw away my old one and went with the new because like I said it is time to get rid of all the old hygiene stuff. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put lotion on my body. So I do have two different routines that I do when I get out the shower. It all depends what I'm doing after. Since this time I was literally going to bed, I just went ahead and put on my warm vanilla from Bath & Body Works. But I'm going to be showing you guys my other routine that I do with the type of lotion that I use and oil that I use later on this video. So this Sunday reset did get dragged on until the next day, but that was totally fine with me because what's better than one self-care day? Two. First thing that I am going to be doing is putting some oil in my head because last night I didn't put no product in my hair. I just went to sleep and I'm going to be using the Miel Hair Growth Oil and the Curly Cream to do my hair. I just did this cute like messy bun just because I didn't really feel like doing my hair. I honestly don't put oil in my hair. Ever since I cut it, I've been just leaving it alone. No hair growth oil, no nothing. Except for obviously my curly hair products for my curly hair routine. And I've noticed that my hair been growing so much faster than how it grows when I do use oil. But like I said, I only use it because I put no type of product the night before so my hair was very dry. I decided to go ahead and do a feet ultra peeling mask just because I always wanted to do a peeling mask on my foot and never got the chance to so I went ahead and got this from Target. I did have to leave it on there for 60 to 90 minutes so I just went ahead and put socks over it. It does say I'm supposed to start peeling within three to seven days. I wanted something that was instant but this was the best one that I could find. While my foot mask is still on my feet, I am just going to go ahead and cook. So I am making white rice with chicken breast and some lettuce. I remember I asked you guys if you guys wanted me to start cooking in my vlogs. And you guys said yes. So here it is. I'm just showing you guys how I make my food. This is not a tutorial. So I'm just going to be showing you guys. While the water is boiling for the rice, I am just going to go ahead and wash the dishes just so I don't cook in a, you know, dirty kitchen or I don't have too much dishes to wash when I am done cooking.
So now that I'm done eating, I am attempting to give myself an at-home pedicure. So I'm just putting some of the Dr. Bronner's on there and I'm also using the Dr. Teal salts. I'm going to put some hot water on there and also use a little bit of body wash, the Johnson's Baby one, just to make the bubbles. Now I'm taking off my mask and as you guys can see, there's no peeling yet. My feet actually felt very soft. I'm going to be using this 4-in-1 pedicure set that I got from Gabe's. I'm going to go in with my Dr. Teal's Shea Sugar Scrub to scrub my feet and then I'm just going to go ahead and scrub my feet. Thank you to Spot Lux Tea for sponsoring this portion of today's video. So they was kind enough to send me over their Camp Out Tonight Honey Lemon gift set collection. But before I get into showing you guys what's inside, I want to show you guys these little cute cream samples that they sent me from their Rise and Shine collection. They also sent me a sample from their Stand Up Get Up collection and their Moonlight Magic collection. And they all smell so good. So now let's get into the Camp Out Tonight collection. So the first thing that I have is body oil. They're all honey lemon scented and I also got this sugar scrub. This sugar scrub left my body feeling very, very soft. And then lastly, we do have this bubble bath bottle which came in clutch because as you guys know, I am about to take a bath. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring this portion of today's video. This is their website. I just wanted to show you guys that they had a lot of different options to choose from. I did collaborate with them before and they sent me their warm vanilla set and i fell in love so i was very very grateful that they decided to reach out again they do have a lot of options and you could also shop by fragrance so it's all up to you i am going to be leaving everything linked in the description box down below if you guys are interested go ahead and check them out After my relaxing bath, I am gonna go follow that up with some body care. So I do use the EOS moisturizing lotion and I usually use the Palmer's oil, but because I did have the camp out tonight body oil, I decided to go ahead and give that a try and I just mix it with my lotion. And when I tell you guys, it just leave my body feeling great and shiny and moisturized. And then I went ahead with my Vaseline to moisturize my lips. Now I'm putting on my pajamas, which I got this pajama set for Christmas last year as a gift from my grandmother and it may be too early for some of y'all to start wearing christmas pajamas but when i tell you guys this set is so comfortable i just had to now we're gonna go ahead and do some skincare pampering so i'm gonna go in with my crest whitening strips 
Now I'm gonna go in with the Glow Recipe Watermelon Dew Drops. And I do got the sample size that I got from Sephora. It's a birthday gift, but I am going to definitely be getting the actual size because I love this. I recently added to my skincare and I've been loving the results. So in the nighttime, I just use this. And then daytime, I use that along with my other lotions. Now I'm going in with my Washa too. And this is something that is used to lift your face up. I got this from Dollar Tree a long time ago and I haven't been using it consistently. So now I am trying every night to do this to see if i see a change in my face but after that i am going to go in with my charcoal nose strip mask and the first thing you have to do is wet your nose apply the mask and then apply a little bit of water to the mask so it could really stick After, I just went ahead and got my comforter that was still in the dryer. So since I knew I wanted it to be very warm and cozy tonight, I just went ahead and left it in the dryer. And when I was ready to take it out, I just ran the dryer for 5 to 10 more minutes just so it could be very warm by the time I get into bed. So now I'm going to go ahead and make my late night snack, which is yogurt with granola, strawberries, and a little bit of honey. I know a lot of people may prefer this in the morning. I had it for both nighttime and morning time, and for some reason, I prefer this in the nighttime. Now I am getting ready to just chill and cut on some Netflix and eat my food. Right now what I'm watching on Netflix is this show called Surviving Paradise and I just finished it actually and it's a very good show. If you guys are more into reality shows and like love shows and stuff like that, I suggest for you guys to go ahead and watch that. Yeah, this is going to be the end of this video just because like I said, I'm just going to eat my food while I watch the show. And then after that, I am going to go to sleep. What's a better ending to a self-care day to just be able to chill with your dog in your bed with a good show on and some good food? I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys want more videos like these, just let me know and I will give them to you guys because I very much did enjoy making this. Even though, like I said, it's not like my regular day-to-day -day vlogging style, but I hope you guys enjoy. Bye, babies.